Ooh, scratch my back right here. Down. Uh, right there, hard. Harder. Oh, God. Harder, harder, harder. Hard as you can. That's, I ain't got no nails, fam. It, use your... Use your fucking fingers. <laughs> I you. got a... Oh, Becky scratcher. Yeah. You're like Grandma, dude. She used to have these. Those are great. Uh, I always get itches and like spots that I can't reach. Oh, yeah. And then trying to scratch through like two shirts, it's not going to do much good. No, not at all. I should have probably washed that before I scratched myself. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're just scratching your balls and shit. And... Maybe. Alrighty. You ready? Oh yeah. wait, what are we? What are we doing? <laughs> uh, last thing I remember, we walked in here. Something about a little girl that was a VHS tape or a memory or something. And then we got out and then we saved. And then that's where we stopped last time. Hey, what's up, guys? This is the Ryan and Rose Show. We're back here playing Resident Evil 7. And let's see here what we're trying to do and see... Uh where was it where we're at? Uh, we just watched the VHS tape. We just came tape. from that way, so try see if you can go through that door. Okay. So here we, I don't believe we have been. That's yeah, okay. Come through it. So we got an elevator. So I think. I think it was last episode or possibly the episode before that I was talking about that show or the anime Parasite. I just recently got a hold of a copy of it and I made this guy watch an episode. Um, it's a wacky show. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. You know, Japanese culture and with all the weirdness is it's pretty freaking awesome. Like. I would just love to go to Japan. Like, we should make it a trip. Like, just go to Japan. Like, I would love South that, too. South Korea. Just like, to eat the all the weird foods and stuff. Not, oh, man. Not be able to, like, read packages and stuff and just <laughs> buy stuff. And, like, what is this? It's like, I think that's, like, paper. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. Like, I've seen some, like, travel vlogs and stuff of people just showing off their adventures and, like... <laughs> The quality of food they have and even, like, their gas stations and, like, their equivalent of, like, Circle K and whatnot. Yeah. It's, like, gourmet compared to, like, what we have at even, like, fancy restaurants. I think it's their, it's, like, our idea of what, like, the 60s used to be and what jobs used to mean. Like, stewardess were, like, like actually respectable jobs. And that's, like, probably, like, how they respect each other. Like, because they're all, like, about respect and stuff. You know, they're very subtle. Like I was telling you, you know, those metal concerts, you know, they don't headbang, they don't do mosh pits, they they just sit there quietly and then clap after each metal show. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Have you heard of a group called Baby Metal? Uh, those, those chicks? It's the right? uh, three girls? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's so rad, man. That was, like, recent for me, like, probably about, like, three months ago, maybe. All right, let's see. What am I doing here? Which there was, um, this was maybe, like, a year, year and a half, two years ago. God, well, time has been so weird. But there was a story going around that some bands on a tour um, were, like, saying negative things about baby metal and like talking shit about their whole gimmick uh -huh. and um Love rob much. zombie had come out and said like these little girls are rocking harder than like a lot of these bands yeah. um on the scene today there was something in that cabinet oh and um at that time i had a few people had like talked about him and i'd heard what they were about but i hadn't really checked it out and um 
Need a key. I looked into them. And Ooh, like, wow, this is really intense music. So we need like a lock pick for that. Uh, I'm not really sure. Thought we had one. We I think we did as the Just, other guy. Oh right. But we might have used that one. Um, need to find it. So yeah, we'll just have to keep an eye out for like a lock pick. Which speaking of Rob Zombie, I finally finished watching his version of Halloween. No. Huh? What'd you think? It was all right. Well, the last time I talked to you about it, I had watched like 20, 30 minutes of like the beginning. Mm. Fucking hated it. Mm. Like. It's better than his other movies that I've seen. I didn't like House of a Thousand Corpses. I didn't like um, Devil's Rejects. And everyone's like, oh my god, the Halloween, like, it's so much better. It's, it feels the same to me. Like, the way... He, yeah, he has, do, a, he has a stick, you know? I mean, like... Like, he, I get that. I, I get that he has this campy kind of, like, love for horror, which, I mean, I do too. Uh, but the way he does dialogue, it's so, like bad it's huh. like he's trying to be quentin tarantino with like the realistic talking and like kind of the gritty attitude of like some of these characters but it's just it's too much like i find his movies really hard to bear but i finally got around to watching like the second half of it and that was much better um not a lot of dialogue in the in the back end of that movie. Just what's his name? Michael Myers going around stabbing horny teenagers. Like I can get behind that. Um, <laughs> but the first half of the movie with all the dialogue and like I get the idea of wanting to give like a psychological backstory behind why he does these things, but it's like you're just kind of cheapening it. You're making you're making it feel justified. Like oh he was picked on little kid he was bullied he's like okay yeah so i was picked on like should i go stab a bunch of they're giving horny sympathy teenagers? to the to the bad person yeah you know just like in devil's rejects i liked the, the devil's rejects i didn't like uh the thousand corpses very much because i think he was kind of just getting into the his kind of like movie groove you know because that was his first one so it was kind of it was a little cheesy you yeah yeah uh, how do I get this bomb on here? I just I have no up idea one. what the fuck you're doing. Um, um, you must need something. I just picked up a bomb, or... and I think those are gas tanks, and I think it needs to blow up before. I no, the bomb is a weapon. You just throw that at monsters. Yeah, well, there's this door here, and there's these gas canisters, so I was like, maybe I can throw them at it, and it'll blow up, and I can go through the door. Uh, hit your D-pad. Select the bomb is up. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's be right on top of it when it explodes. Mm. Oh, it's like a remote bomb. That's actually pretty cool. That's different than the ones we were using before. Well, I was wrong. And I just wasted a bomb, I guess. Well, you live and learn. Fuck. So I found this out like a long time later. Um, when Rob Zombie was filming the House of a Thousand Corpses, they had filmed about half of it and completely ran out of money. And then he uh, record, wrote, recorded, put out an album that was called House of a Thousand Corpses, um, which made so much money that they were able to finance the rest of the movie and keep filming. There was such a gap in time from the first time they were filming to the when they went back and started like continuing filming that they had like completely changed the script. They rewrote a bunch of stuff, um, and so the movie like completely changed. And then when you watch it, you can kind of feel that there's like a moment where it's just like a completely different movie than what you started watching. Now. I grew up listening to Rob Zombie. Still love a lot of his mm. music. Um, still love White Zombie. But now I'm scared to buy any of his albums ever again because I'm like, what if I accidentally fund another shitty movie? <laughs> like, I paid... I put cash on a counter and got a CD. I paid for that album. Yeah. Uh, it, that still weighs on my soul. Well, maybe you should just listen to his music. Which 
Hmm? He has some new stuff coming soon. It sounds like there was a new single he put out uh, a short while ago that was... It was good. Some oh, of his down. newer stuff I haven't been too into. Um, some of his old, old stuff, like under the white zombie label, was really bad. Uh, they had it on Spotify. I was like, oh man, I love White Zombie. Let me go back and listen to the old, old stuff. I've never heard these songs before. And it was like, imagine you're like driving through just a shitty town on the way to like somewhere important and you gotta stop for gas. Oh shit. And you just like pull into a dive bar and like there's a shitty band playing. Like that's the kind of music old, old White Zombie was. He hadn't like figured out his whole shtick and like he hadn't started ripping off ministry yet so it's just a completely different kind of like genre i guess which i remember one time i had a stepdad and i was listening to some white zombie in the car and he's like oh white zombie just ripped off ministry and i was like what how could you even say that because I didn't know who Ministry was at the time, so I looked him up and I was like, oh, damn, like, he literally did just rip off Ministry. But, kinda does it better and I'm a little bit more okay with it. Did I need that piece? Potentially. Or. So I don't know if I took it or if I put it in there. Because I think the door won't open oh, if it's not right. in there. Okay. Which this is probably where we came from the last time. Yeah, this is the beginning. So, like, I'm trying to pay attention to your story and play at the same time. So I kind of just oh, been just running focus around. on playing. I'm I'm just gonna keep talking. Yeah, kind of figure that after a while. <laughs> <laughs> um. There's also a rumor that Rob Zombie might be directing a Munsters movie. Monsters. Oh, and look. I love the Monsters. But I don't know how I feel about a Rob Zombie directed Monsters movie. Like, is Herman Monster going to be like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Go diddle your cunt. Oh, wow. Do you like clowns? Like, whoa. Okay. I don't know where the hell to go right now. I think we've just been kind of screwing up this. So okay, I hadn't found that. I didn't see anything. I was running through here. And then uh, we don't have any of that acid. I didn't see any of that. Did you try the uh, turn key on that? Turn key you, on this? You picked up something. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was a key to anything. Like, what does it say it is? Here, let's just see. If so that needs a lock pick, I would imagine. It's a lug wrench, so useful for removing nuts. Oh, okay. Maybe we should have, or I should have read that. Okay, well, I don't Reading is important, seeing... kids. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't remember seeing any lug nuts or anything. Maybe it's back up here. So we jump down. How you liking the new hat? I like it, man. You know, it's different. You know, you get it's any, not like, all the same stuff. Compliments or comments about it? Uh, well, my my barber noticed it, and you know, it's like a mariachi band for uh, isotopes. So, you know, I thought that was pretty cool. You know, represent New Mexico. Represent the five o filthy. Yeah, uh, no, five o five, I think. I I know what I said. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Maybe it still works. Hmm. You're going to change camera and it's going to be like Ethan. someone pooping. I hope I make it in time. We're getting pooped on. Okay. Bottom level. 
What's the difference Bottom between level. a chickpea and a garbanzo oh. bean? Liar! Stop it, Evelyn! Oh. Fucking. Elizabeth. What'd you say? <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> a chickpea and a what? What is the difference between a chickpea and a garbanzo bean? Ooh, uh, different colors. I would never pay to have a garbanzo bean on my face. You wouldn't? No. Okay, that does nothing. I still have this bolt thingy and it said downstairs. That's where I just kind of came from, wasn't it? And is there anything down there? Oh, wait. Uh, I have to go all the way around. Let's see. I know it was down the elevator. If I jumped, it would take me down there, so. I don't know. But you take damage when you jump down the elevator, yeah, don't you? Yeah, I think so. And I'm pretty messed up already, I think. Wait. Let's see if I can get some healing going. L1? And, uh, what was it? Did I combine? No, we don't have any. Uh, oh, we do. Oh. Could you imagine if healing actually worked that way? <laughs> just pour <laughs> liquid on yourself? Yeah. That, that'd be just dope. Just, like, playing in the yard, you fall, like... Knees all bent the wrong way, and you're just like, I oh, just splash some bactine on it or some kind of mysterious substance. <laughs> you actually don't take damage. Oh, it was probably from these jerks down here. Okay, so you sit down more. Where's those stairs? Apparently he's all cocooned up in the bottom where that camera was showing us. He's in a nice relaxing day spa. Did you ever go to one of those spas where they like put mud on you and then put the cucumbers on your eyes? No. No? Just considering it, my skin's kind of bad. <laughs> Just to get like a one clean or something like that, you know? Yeah. Get a good exfoliating. We do have a map. Uh, how do you get to the map again? Start or select? Not that one. I guess. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so there's more stairs in the middle that may go down more because I think we might have just came from this left side of the stairs going down so let's see let's let's wander around a little bit see if we can find anything oh yeah just wander Close. around so I have to edit all this crap out later uh, I gotta pick up shit right we pretended to read that earlier clips. oh apparently we're here you through? Uh, look. <gasps> bolts. Try your bolts. Uh, how do you equip it? Well, usually it has to put an show A or up. something. Yeah. Right? No, it's not doing anything. And it's not. Well, that sucks. Ah. So that's where we're supposed to go, isn't it? Hmm. Damn, what do we do? Oh, shit. They said downstairs, right? So it has to be through that door. When did they say downstairs? Well, when she was going through the camera, and, 
and then she I'm pretty sure she said all the way downstairs. Oh, she was clicking through the different cameras. Yeah, where the guy is, so I would imagine we have to go there. Cause look, these are all the levels. Right. So S two is the last one. Do we have to find that elevator again? Ele uh but that only gives us to go up the ladder and I don't I didn't see anything for us to go no, up and that, down it. That was that So should I go oh, no, this the elevator door was... or go back? What do you think? Um I don't think fuck, there's don't anything know. in here. So I remember this was like right around where we started. Yeah, this is how we But it's kinda confusing because um there was that flashback and that's where I was thinking of there was that working elevator. Which you can't access now. Um, well, maybe there's something we missed that was on the bottom level that we had to use the wrench for. That we didn't really think about because they're just bolts. Let's see if we can find anything. Oh. Flip it around. Oh, it's a life jacket. Look inside. Nothing, uh... Oh, huh. Just something to pick up and look at, I guess. Like my dick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we still need that fucking thing. Yeah. I said... Oh, well, I can go get that. Oh, well, there's fuse. Maybe that'll do something for us. I think that was where we found the fuse in originally. Oh, really? Yeah, probably right. I mean, try it, but. Maybe that'll open the downstairs door. Give it power to open. Is something else open? I heard something creak open. Did you hear that? I can't tell. Nothing there. Is there any other fuse box? Hmm. Okay, I guess let's just go forward this way if there's any way. part of this. Cause now we keep going up. Yeah. We're not trying to go up. I don't know, maybe I misheard or something. I don't know, we're missing something. You know these puzzles are just always like on the verge of figuring it out, but it's like a little hard, but it's not. It's like simple. Yeah, it's his Sometimes we miss really simple things. Okay, so we start in this room. We're not this way. There's nothing else in this room. Got the ladder to go up. Like the third floor. Alright. It does nothing. And then it can't get into this either. And have a pick lock somewhere.
Hey. Well, that's useful. <laughs> okay, so hey, nothing uh, really down here. Let's go up here. Pause the game. 